welcome back to another cyclical keto video. As you can see, I'm sitting in the car right now. It is raining outside. It's like calmed down to like a sprinkle right now, but it has been raining all morning. As you guys saw, I slept in today. It was like raining and dark out and I knew I couldn't get up and run anyways and I never get to sleep in. So I took advantage of it and slept in super late and just had like a super chill morning, had some coffee, just had to run and pick my daughter up from work. And now I am back and getting ready to go in and make my first meal of the day. Hopefully if it stops raining, I can still get some kind of movement in today. I'm not super stressed about running, but I am still going to do my normal carb up cyclical keto day. So I will show you guys everything that I'm going to eat and then we'll just go extra hard in the gym tomorrow. But I have some fun, exciting meals planned for today. So I'm just going to start this morning's breakfast off with some eggs and sausage and stuff and I'll show you as soon as I plate it up. All right guys, so here is the first meal that I am having today. I have two slices of this base culture soft sandwich bread. This one's a little higher net carb than the regular keto one, which I think is four net carbs per slice. This one is six per slice. Then some of the sweet strawberry jam. I've shown you guys a bunch of times that I'm almost out of this. I need to order some more. That's one net carb per serving. Then I have some of the unsweetened applesauce. There are the macros and ingredients for that. And some of the Warrior Mix, gluten-free, grain-free, super clean maize apple pie. I get this from Target. And then two of the all-natural turkey sausages. And I put all of it into Carb Manager. And it is 45 net carbs and 735 calories for my first meal of the day. And the granola... I will add in the applesauce and it is the bomb.com. And then I have two eggs as All well. right guys, so it is now 1.30 and it is still completely nasty out. And it's not looking like it's gonna clear up at all the rest of the day. So we decided since hubby is home that we are gonna go ahead and go to the gym. Our gym is only open until three on Sunday. So we've got about an hour and a half. It's only a few minutes from our house, so. An hour and a half to get a super good workout in. I think we might do legs today. I don't know. I don't know what Sean wants to do. So I'll figure it out as soon as he gets in the car. And I forgot that I am having a bang. This is my pre-workout. I've told you guys I'm out of the regular equip pre-workout, but they are having the sale um, for Black Friday. It actually starts on Wednesday, I believe. So I'm going to order everything on Wednesday. I think they're doing like half off and free shipping. I just was talking to Nicole about it. So um, I'm going to be ordering everything from there. Pre-workout, the protein, all the vitamin supplements and all that stuff I've been waiting to order. I'm going to go ahead and stock up on that day. But I am having a bang for today's pre-workout. This is the Miami Cola one. This is the only other one that I really like besides the purple guava pear. These are my top two favorites because they're not like super sweet. But we are riding in the pouring rain right now to head to the gym and what are we doing today babe legs legs and abs no yes i don't Maybe. know we'll figure it out when we get there it won't go away i got that feeling rushing through my body i know that it is here to stay it's like you're my personal illuminati I know that some might say that I am just a bad girl But if you treat me right I will be the best girl in this whole world No, I'm not gonna bite I got my hands on your body So tell me, tell me what you want me to do I can be good or be not in
from the gym and as you see i just made my banana peanut butter protein shake and it's 31 net carbs and 375 calories and this is what i'm going to be having for lunch i might have like an epic bar or something like that before i start dinner all right like i said we just got back from the gym and i am enjoying my shake and we ended up doing leg day like we said in abs and I didn't film it. I'll insert a couple clips or you would have already seen a couple clips that I inserted from Instagram. Um, I'm going to start doing some separate workout videos, you know, that are like not full days of eating and workout, just the actual workout. That way, if you guys want to follow the workouts, you can just go and get like a 10 or 15 minute video for that specific body part or whatever. So you guys let me know down in the comments below some that you want me to do. Upper body, lower body, core, hit workouts, like what kind that you guys want me to do and I'll be bringing those. So make sure that you leave them down in the comments below. Okay, so I'm getting ready to go in with my daily bone broth collagen. Of course, I've told you guys a bunch of times about this. I do have a referral link down in the description box if you want to try it out and get a $10 credit, I think it is, off your first purchase. So I'm getting ready to have that. Um, I have not finished even one of these yet, so I need to down this water and fill this up again. I've been trying to get at least two of these big ones in every day, um, if not a gallon a day. And then I'm also going to go in with one of these Epic Beef Bars. This is the beef, sea salt, and pepper one. This is three grams total carbs and three fibers, so it's zero net carbs. I don't know why, for some reason, I thought this one was like one or two net carbs, but it is, and I was just checking, but I was just checking out the macros, and there they are there, eight grams of of fat 11 grams of protein and zero net carbs so I'm gonna go in with one of these I like these the beef and sea salt I like the bison to have on my carb update but I didn't have any of those so just gonna go on with one of these and my bone broth collagen and then I'm gonna start making dinner in just a few minutes all right and here is this absolute deliciousness doesn't all the colors and everything on this plate just look so awesome? I don't know. I paired it with some steamed broccoli here that I put butter on, and then I made some jasmine rice. This is the first time that I've had rice on a carb up day, so we'll see how this goes. I had 120 grams of the rice here, and I put butter on that. I weighed all of it out, and then this is the Keto Connect Indian Butter Chicken, and doesn't that sauce just look absolutely amazing? And I am super excited and starving and ready to eat this. So this is what I'm going in with for dinner. And of course, I put it all into Carb Manager, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. I forgot to show you, I had some of the cinnamon crisp. These things are the bomb.com. I weighed them up on the Carb Manager and I already put that in there. I'm just doing some work on the computer. And then I'm going to read and pick up the daughter from work and go to bed. So I will catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning. Happy Monday for me. Happy whatever day it is for you that you are watching this. It's about 6.40ish or so in the morning. I've been up for about an hour, had my coffee as you saw, got some of my morning routine stuff done, and now I am out walking. I'm getting ready to get a quick run in to get my day started. I don't normally run on Mondays. We normally go to the gym, but as you guys know, yesterday it poured rain all day, so I didn't get my Sunday run in. I'm not doing a long run. I don't have time this morning before I got to get kids to school and do all the Monday morning stuff. So it's soaking wet outside from nonstop raining all day yesterday. But I'm going to go ahead and just warm up for a few minutes and then get a quick run in and get this Monday started. It won't go away. I've got feeling rushing through my body i know that it is here to stay all right hot sweaty mess just got a quick three and a half miles in this morning feeling awesome i wasn't sure how the run was gonna go this morning but did awesome and just having a few minutes of a cool down walk right now and heading back to the house to jump in the shower and get this monday started if you haven't got out and moved your body yet this morning here's your reminder to do it 
You gotta create your own energy, guys. Don't wait for Friday to be alive and energetic. That's only one day a week. You gotta live the rest of the week too. You gotta be alive today, create your own energy, and make your week awesome. You can't live six days a week just gunning for the one day, Friday. A lot of people live their whole week just waiting for Friday. That's just a waste of life and days and time. You can live and have awesome every day. And not every day is going to be great, but you can sure try. So come on and let's level up together today. Let's go. All right, guys, as you can see, I finally changed the time on this. So it is two o'clock and I wanted to go ahead and check my ketones. They're coming in at a 0 0.3 and I'm getting ready to have my first meal today. So I wanted to go ahead and just check them again before I had my first meal. Right, guys, So here's what I'm going in with for my first meal. I have some salad mix there on the bottom, some of the chicken salad that I made the other day. And then I cut up three strawberries and put it on top. I have one like small medium-ish um, avocado there that I put some of the pimento cheese. Clearly I'm doing good on the dairy-free. I'm not. <laughs> this is like my current obsession right now. So I am trying to minimize the dairy at times, but I'm going to be going dairy-free come January 1st, so I'm not stressing about it too much. But anyways, so this is what I'm going in with. I'm going to top the salad with some of the Primal Kitchen balsamic dressing here, and I am going to go in with my Zevia. I have a full water at my desk where I have been like crazily working the last couple hours, and I am starving and ready to tear this lunch up. Alrighty, it is 4 o'clock, and I'm going in with my daily fix of bone broth collagen, getting my protein fix in for the day, and having, of course, an epic beef bar. I'm going to be doing dinner up in just a little bit, egg roll in a bowl, but of course I want to get my protein fix in first and have a snack while I am prepping up some fruit. Does anybody else have like the fruit struggle going on? You either have all the strawberries gone in one afternoon or they just sit and rot. I don't understand. My kids either devour them in like a day or leave them there to go bad. But I'll throw those in the compost or feed them to the chickens or something. And I'm going to get these all cut and prepped up, have my snack, and then I will do dinner here in just a little bit. All right, guys, it's about 6 o'clock now, and I just had another um, epic. This is the chicken sriracha. I just had another one. I'm like super multitasking here. We're going to have dinner in a little while. Finishing up on my girl Nicole's video. She has a ton of discounts and sales going on that she was talking about in this week's Monday Motivational Keto Vlog. So if you guys haven't checked that out, check it out because she has discounts for like a lot of the stuff. So definitely check that out. But just finished an epic bar a little bit ago. I'm doing, trying to catch up on laundry, getting some work done, watching my girl, trying to multitask here. But egg roll in a bowl is cooking and we'll be having dinner here in just a few. All right guys, I just made up a bowl of the egg roll in a bowl and I topped it with some of the sesame ginger primal kitchen sauce. I have shown it on here a bunch of times. I am doing some work on the computer and I have to hurry up and finish it. So I'm going to eat dinner while I am sitting in here working. All right guys, so I have moved on to dessert. Egg roll in the bowl was awesome. I am still sitting here working on the computer. Hubby is out there watching a movie with the kids so that I can get some stuff done. But I am going in with one of these absolutely amazing cheesecakes. The snowflake pattern has held up pretty good and that gingerbread crust is like absolutely dynamite. When you guys are seeing this video, it will already be out. December 1st, gingerbread is selling. It's just a seasonal item for Lolly's Low Carb Granola. And for 10% off, um, check the link down in the description box. They have all their granolas are amazing, but this gingerbread is the bomb.com. You want to get some before it sells out. Also, if you guys didn't see my last video where I made these, check it out. I will link it down below and up in the iCards, but look at that crust. O-M-G. Literally dynamite, guys. About to get these muscles worked out. All right, guys, that'll do it for another cyclical keto video. As you saw this morning, I just got back from getting a massage and I desperately needed it and absolutely love them and they help. As intense as I work out and run and all of that, my muscles just need it. And... 
my massage therapist told me I definitely need to be stretching more, like super tense. And I know that. I tell you guys that all the time, too. It is so important, and I do incorporate it, but not nearly enough. I need to be doing it way, way more. That's going to be a huge focus of mine come the first of the year when we start 75 hard is definitely incorporating more yoga and more intense deep stretches. So that is super important for injuries and recovery and just all of that. So anyways, but I didn't get to close the vlog out last night. I just had my nose in the book studying and doing a ton of work on the computer and all the way till I fell asleep. So I didn't close the vlog out last night. So I just wanted to close it out this morning and say thank you guys so very much for watching and following along. And I hope you guys are getting some inspiration and ideas from these videos I know a ton of you are and that's awesome and I love it and like I said I'm gonna be switching some stuff up with the cyclical keto not exactly sure how that's gonna play out yet I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do for 75 hard or how that's gonna play out but definitely excited about switching stuff up this pursuit of health and fitness is a lifelong journey so always changing stuff up always trying to optimize to see what is going to progress you further for the life that you want that's the whole point so always keep your body guessing always Always switch stuff up. Try to do things that make you feel good. It might not necessarily be what the next person is doing, you know? So just try things out. That's the only way we can tell is trial and error. So super excited for that. But if you guys are not part of the YouTube crew, definitely make sure to smash all the buttons below so that you don't miss out whenever I have a new video coming. Like I said, have a ton of new stuff coming. And of course, I always want your guys' input. I want to be producing stuff that is helping you guys. So let me know down in the comments below stuff that you want to see for 75 hard cyclical keto videos, workout videos, stuff for the new year that will help keep you motivated and on track and getting those gains. So let me know down in the comments below. And of course, if you aren't following me on Instagram, make sure to hit me up over there. I'll pop my handle on the screen here. And thank you guys all so very much for watching and I will catch y'all in the next video.